I want to rank every single, all 35 of these heroes from D.Va all the way to Zenyatta. I want to talk about their Overwatch 1 designs and their Overwatch 2 designs. Uh, we're going to choose what design's better. Like, is it an upgrade or is it a downgrade? That's essentially what we're doing today. Speaking of really good designs, though, look at this cute little boy. This is my plushie. It's already out. It is out officially. If you were in the mood, if you were down to get a plushie, get yourself a plushie, dude. I do want to talk about one other thing. Essentially, what ended up happening is that I got myself a keyboard. Board, custom made it's all beautiful it's red it's super small there's not even like the f1 through f like 10 it's a very sick custom keyboard made by mode i mean i really appreciate that i've been using it for like a couple months now this keyboard is super amazing like let's, let's listen to the clickety clack it's it's incredible thank you so much mode for giving me this keyboard thank you. making it custom love you guys and if you guys want a custom keyboard check them out it's amazing diva time let's start with diva so her overwatch one skin is iconic it's classic she's rocking essentially like a full-on sports outfit it's like this esports outfit essentially um she's young she's she has the the headphones on and the mech is is super pink i would say diva's original design is extremely iconic but as we get to overwatch 2 the the nice white details on the mech is huge her entire outfit got a huge upgrade she even has like the shoulder pads if you can see her hair is is put up it's put back a little bit um and she looks older and of course everyone knows about the cake buff we know that and that is a huge plus huh? i think i think it's an overall upgrade so i will say that diva 2 is better than diva 1 on to the next one boom fist so the original Doomfist gauntlet is this beautiful gold. Majority of his body is completely unprotected, including his feet, which you can see his toes. And you know, some people like seeing the toes. I get it. So that's Doomfist from Overwatch 1. Overwatch 2 has him looking completely different. He looks a lot more regal. His toes are gone. Kind of a minus or a plus. Some people are like not toe people, but you know, like <laughs> your boy is a toe guy. He looks super clean. He looks super menacing. He looks more like a tank, honestly, in this in this outfit. Um, everything else about it is about like neutral except for the toes that's worse overwatch one doomfist right as much as i love it as, as iconic as he is i do think that i'm gonna have to give this one to overwatch two doomfist next up we have orisa i'm gonna level with you guys okay orisa's original design i've always absolutely hated i hate these stupid looking like horn hair things that make her look like she's a mom from the 50s that's literally the vibe i get from this orisa design I, I hated it. Everything else is super duper boring for Orisa. Like I never thought Orisa was that fun to play as. Also her entire kit was super boring to play, which definitely puts her down a few notches. However, in Overwatch 2, it's just a better upgrade all around and every single asset. Her gun looks a lot cooler with the greens inside of it incorporated. Her hair is incredible. Look how the, look how the hair moves in the, in the air. It's kind of wild. Orisa 2 is 1000% better than Orisa 1. So here's Reinhardt's Overwatch 1 skin. Reinhardt's Overwatch 1 skin is great. He is a knight. His body proportions make absolutely no sense. Like, I, his arms, no, there's no way his arms go this far. This must be like robotics, right? Like, we can all agree there must be some robotics in here. There's no way his arms go all the way down to his knees. No human being does that. That's just ridiculous, right? This helmet, look at that helmet. Peak Overwatch design. He's a menace. He is the definition of a tank. And when I think of an Overwatch tank, I literally can't not think of Reinhardt. You know what I mean? For that reason, I do just genuinely think that going from this to this is a bit of a downgrade. While we do gain a lot more yellow in color, we lose the helmet, right? And losing the helmet, I think is a big L. Adding this cool little line in the middle though is very nice. It's it's nice because it pairs very well with his, his line on his shield hand. And the yellows do pop out and, and are very nice to look at. But I just don't understand why you wouldn't give him a helmet. Also, they made him rock a man bun. He does rock the man bun though. Between Reinhardt 1 and Reinhardt 2, I would have to give it to Reinhardt 1. Roadhog. Okay. Oh, jeez. Roadhog 1 is such a phenomenally iconic design. This guy is just so cool. Huge freaking hands, huge freaking hook. Oh, yeah. His little... His little butt cheeks are still showing. Looks amazing, man. And of course, his gun. Simple yellow wooden scrap thing with like metal chain on the bottom. Okay, Roadhog 2 has some upgrades. I think his overall like uh, outfit that he's wearing looks way cooler. I missed the tire part that was here though. I think them adding spikes is kind of cringe. I'm, not, I'm such a hater of spikes. If you guys have seen any of my other videos, you, you know that I hate spikes. His hook looks really over the top for no reason. I, I appreciate it being more of like a fisher hook before. And his ass crack is just like super showing now before it was it was kind of showing now it's like very showing and then his gun uh what is this what is this thing in the front before it was just a chain what is this tell me what this is what is this thing dangling on his gun between 
Overwatch 2's new design of Roadhog and Overwatch 1's design of Roadhog, I'm leaning more towards Overwatch 1. Oh yeah, okay, okay, okay. Overwatch 1 Sigma is pretty is pretty freaking cool. Um the blues are really nice. I do I do love this blue that's on Sigma. Uh his whole head thing is kind of crazy looking if you look at it like in the detail of it. His whole design is just a wild design and his balls, you know, classic Sigma balls looking amazing. Look at those balls. If we see Sigma from Overwatch 2, it opts for a more cleaner color scheme. And his shoulders have like a less rounded aesthetic and more of like a cybernetic aesthetic, including his arms. Also, we get to see more feet and some of y'all really enjoy seeing them feet, you know? Now, these balls do look really nice. Like, I, I, they, they look more like a soccer ball now this time around. Oh, get some nice balls for sure. I think it's just a slight edge out, but I think I slightly, just slightly prefer Sigma from Overwatch 2 than, than Sigma from Overwatch 1. Winston. Winston had the full like astronaut outfit look with the jetpacks, the yellow. Um, he's got that booty. He's got that whole dumpy dumpy back there, dude. And uh, this Tesla coil cannon. I do love this like gold details. It gives you it gives you really like this NASA look. You know, this looks like a spaceship. But then we get to Overwatch 2. Okay, looks almost identical. It's kind of hard to see. Does he have like these Bluetooth headphone things? Hold up. Did he have those before? Oh, geez. That's kind of a downgrade. See, before he had like the, just a regular like helmet looking thing with like headphones on it. But now he's got like these like 2012 Bluetooth headphone things from like your dad probably wore when he was going to work and stuff. You remember this? Oh my gosh. What is that about? Uh, his dumpy, his dumpy, dumpy still there. So that's, that's nice. Oh, that actually does look kind of nice. The gold really does stand out for this one, you know? Besides his little Bluetooth headphone looking things, which is like so funny to me, I do think that Winston 2 is a slight, like, like 2% upgrade from Winston 1. I came in like a wrecking ball. Let's talk about Hammond. He's a dripless animal. Let's just be honest. Oh. Hammond here, he's cute, but he's got no drip. And he's got this weird like metal thing on his forehead. I guess it's because he's like a super genius, like hamster. We get it. Uh, his guns look simple. His guns are all right here. You can see them. They look, they look simple and sleek. I don't think there's anything wrong with this design. I just think that this design is a crazy upgrade, like a nutty, nutty upgrade on every single metric. You got this sleek looking darker grays with these beautiful light blues all around it. The other colors just pop tremendously. The way that his legs look Look, look really freaking cool, like almost like an insectoid. Where before it looked like futuristic, like Star Wars leg looking thing for droids. And let's just talk about one big thing. This cute little goggles. He has a full on like space outfit now, which does make sense. He's piloting a freaking ball. I would say between Overwatch 1 Hammond slash Wrecking Ball and Overwatch 2 Hammond and Wrecking Ball, I'm gonna have to give it to Overwatch 2 Hammond. First and foremost, we got Zarya. Zarya is this bodybuilding behemoth of a woman. She's so strong. She's so epic. Her hair matches the aesthetic. She's got this awesome pink short hair. She's got her muscles just out there showing how, how freaking swole she is. This is what we call a simple design. Her weapon is also super cool. It's a clean white look. This thing almost looks like a motorcycle. Like if you gave it, if you gave it two wheels, like a wheel in the front and a wheel in the back, it would look like a motorcycle, right? Am I tripping? I always liked Zarya's original design. Now let's look at let's look at Zarya too. <sighs> they gave her sleeves. So it doesn't showcase her muscles as much. Uh, her boots look kind of cool though. I do enjoy the boots, but the biggest downgrade by far is this hair. Why? This was this would actually be a decent design if they didn't add the stupid ponytail, man. I will say that I do think that her weapon still looks like a motorcycle, which is kind of great. Um, but I do think her weapon is a is a slight upgrade. I would say that between Overwatch 2's Zarya design and Overwatch 1 Zarya design. I think Overwatch 1 Zarya looks more like a tank, looks more like a force to be reckoned with. So I'm gonna have to give this one to Overwatch 1 Zarya. It's intermission time. Everybody, listen, listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me, everybody. Do you see this? Do you see this? My son? Look at him. Look at him. Hi, it's me, Macro. I'm super cute. What's up, everybody? I'm a freaking Mark Edible plushie. Exclamation U2s. Buy one, buy a plushie. He's got little feet, he runs, he jumps, he glides, and he's sexy. <laughs> Our first DPS character is arguably one of my most favorite characters in the game. We got Ash and Bob. Ash's original design is very, very, very clean. I always like that she has like that little tie going on. She has this old school cowboy vibe going on with her. And of course her freaking robot butler, Bob, who looks freaking sick, just wearing a vest, has like this full on muscles, the cute little Bob hat. You know, we love, we stan. Bob. I like her boots. They look super cool. They do like, they look old school and futuristic at the same time. And overall, I, I just genuinely like think Ash's design is super cool. And her gun. 
nice and wooden looking as well with the gold details. The Overwatch 2 design, I think, takes all the things that I really enjoyed about Ash in the first game and upgrades it in every single aspect. Her boots look a lot cooler. I actually like her boots a lot here. Wow, her boots are something like you would actually see people wear. Her outfit is a lot cooler. I got these hoop earrings. Were the hoop earrings in the first one? Yeah, she didn't have any earrings in the first one. Bobby now has a lot more gold details. Got that gold on the belt. Got this nice little like collar that he pops out. He's an actual thug, dude. And this weapon. Now it's got a lot more of that wooden classic repeater look, but it has this nice little details in the front and a little bit of gold throughout. This is a net upgrade all around. I do think that Ash from Overwatch 2 is an overall better design. And now we're moving on to Bastion. Bastion from Overwatch 1 looks so clean. I always thought personally that Bastion is one of my favorite characters designs, period. I just thought like his original character design is amazing. Look at his bird. Look at that board. My board. I want my board. I do genuinely think that Bastion's Overwatch 1 design is incredible and didn't really need any changes whatsoever. Now, Overwatch 2, I really don't like this design. I'm just gonna to level with you guys early before you get all like excited. I genuinely hate this version of this character. They rounded out all of his edges and took away a lot of his really cool robotic features. And then they added a hat and, it, and like, look, the hat is an upgrade. Let's be honest with you. That is it. The hat is the only upgrade. If I had to choose between Bastion's Overwatch 2 design and his Overwatch 1 design, I would have to go with his Overwatch 1 design. I think he's bigger and he's better in Overwatch one. Moving on to the man formerly known as McCree, aka Cassidy. So Cassidy in Overwatch 1, it's your robot cowboy, okay? This design is so freaking clean. He's got his cowboy pants, he's got his cowboy boots, he's got his cowboy holster, he's got the belt that says Banff on it because he's a bad and maybe friendly dude. <laughs> and of course he's got his cyborg hand which is being partially blocked by his poncho which is always such a cool design choice. And the revolver, this classic revolver. This revolver looks like he actually brought it from like 1978, you know, like it's just a classic revolver. Now we got Cassidy in Overwatch 2. Cassidy in Overwatch 2 has a couple cool design choices. One, turning his robot arm into this like wider robot arm. I kind of like it. I kind of like how it stands out and pops. His poncho is no longer a poncho though. It's more like this like jacket thing and I kind of don't like how that looks. They did give him a beard which is neither here nor there. It's just different. So if I had to choose between Overwatch 2 Cassidy and Overwatch 1's Cassidy, I'm thinking I'm gonna have to go with Overwatch 1 Cassidy. Oh, what about the gun? Yes, what about the gun? Oh, it's a downgrade. Now onto Overwatch's most popular hero by a landslide. It is Genji Shimada in the house. There is a reason that Genji is the most popular character in Overwatch 1, and that's because Overwatch 1 Genji is one of the best design characters ever made period. The idea of a cyborg ninja is just perfectly encapsulated here with this design. That Genji ass cheek, we all live and die by Genji's ass. I know, we've all been there. So I really love Overwatch 1 Genji. Overwatch 2 Genji is... <sighs> He looks drippy, right? I respect the drip, you know, as a, as a drip king myself, you know, rocking little plushies and, and other drippy things. I respect the drip, but I don't like it on Genji, okay? I don't like this, this whole outfit would look really cool on Hanzo, but I don't like it on Genji. I think it kills a lot of his original design what made him so unique and so cool. The whole time I'm looking at this, I just want him to take his jacket off and I want to take his pants and his jacket off. Even my old Genji, man. Yeah, I don't care if that sounds horny. I would have to choose Overwatch 1 Genji, easily. Oh, okay, talk about downgrades. Free the nipple, free the nipple. What were you thinking, Overwatch? Free the nipple. I do not understand why they had to get rid of his nipple and stuff. I have had to choose between Overwatch 2 Hanzo and Overwatch 1 Hanzo, just for the nipple alone. But with even without the nipple, I do genuinely think that I prefer Overwatch 1 Hanzo. I think Overwatch 1 Hanzo is the, is the winner here. Next up, we got Junkrat. No leg, no arm, no shirt, no problem. No leg, no arm, no shirt, no problem. No leg, oh, brother, no arm, no shirt, no problem. I like this design. I think I think Junkrat's crazy. You really get a, a, a hint of how freaking psychotic this man is. He's got smoke all over his body, just signifying that he's always on fire. He's always exploding. His hair is literally on fire as we're speaking. He's got like the crappiest pants you could ever think of. He's got this one boot that he probably found in a back alley. And the funniest part about his kid, you see this wheel and you're like, what the hell is this wheel about? Why are you carrying this wheel, my dude? And then he pulls out his ultimate and you're like, oh, oh, that's 
that's why you're carrying the wheel, my dude. Overwatch 2 Junkrat has kind of grown on me. Let's talk about this. The fact that his whole grenade holster backpack looking thing are like legit grenades now is kind of nice. His goggles, I at first I didn't like them. Now I'm enjoying them a little bit more. His hair's still on fire. His face still smoked out. The goggles does look like something he would definitely have because you know, safety first, right? I think Overwatch 2's design is, is just slightly edged out Overwatch 1's design. And I think it's mostly because the red, I really do enjoy like the way the red pops. Before I get a lot of hate, I never really liked May's design. She's just wearing like a snow outfit essentially. She looks super warm and comfy. It's always been like super basic for me though, you know? Yeah, I never really liked the ginormous boots. Snowball looks really cool. Her gun was also a really cool design. The nice blue and white is very simple. Let's check out how she looks in Overwatch 2. Her boots look just as goofy, if not goofier. Oh my God. Her outfit actually looks less warm, which defeats the purpose of the fact that she's like this snow queen, you know? At least Snowball looks kind of nice and futuristic. I don't know. These boots look stupid as heck, man. And her outfit doesn't make any sense anymore. Like this looks like she's warm. This looks like she's like just trying to look drippy, but then she still chose to walk out of her house with these boots on. Even her gun looks worse. Her gun looks like a toy now. I'm sorry, everybody. Those of you expected some crazy change here, I'm gonna have to give this one to Overwatch 1. So here is Farah in her Overwatch 1 design. She's got a very, very pronounced blue. We got like the Samus look. She looks basically like Samus and I love it. Farah's Overwatch 1 design is super cool. She has like this hawk helmet where when she puts it on, she looks like a freaking hawk in the sky. Her gun could is, leaves a little room to be desired, but it does look it does look really cool, like a cannon. Okay, I can respect this because before it was like a little too much blue. Like there's a little too much blue in this Overwatch 1 design. This gives you this nice pop of white, this beautiful white and blue blue and gold. It looks so nice. Even her gun looks, it's an upgrade. That's a huge upgrade. It has got the eye of Anubis on the side. I'm gonna have to give it to Overwatch 2, Farah. Overwatch 2, Farah solos this. Next up, we got one of my favorite characters in the whole game. Reaper. Oh man. Reaper. Oh, his original design is just so simple and so cool. He's got the freaking coat. He's got the skull-faced helmet. Look at those guns, man. Oh my god. Super clean. Got that nice wooden finish on the on the handle, but everything else about it is just evil and menacing looking. I don't know how they could top this one. I have no idea how they could top this one, honestly. Okay, they actually did a pretty good job. Okay, one important thing that I really, really enjoy about Overwatch 1's Reaper design is that it's one continuous coat. The hood is part of the whole coat. For some reason, they decided to give Reaper a coat, but he's wearing like a hoodie underneath the coat. And if he's not wearing a hoodie underneath the coat, then don't tell me that this coat is attached to that because that's cringe. Oof. Once you notice it, you cannot notice it. His mask does look cool. It's nice and silver. And his guns look so weird. What is this? What is up with his guns? What is, why? Why, why, why does it have like this open? here on, on the on the end no wooden details it's just black yeah i'm sorry dude in between overwatch 2's design cringy edgelord or other cringy edgelord overwatch 1 edges out overwatch 2. now we're gonna go on to a controversial one so we got soldier 76. i've always thought soldier 76's original design is super cool this huge 76 writing on his back was really cool his visor his mask the scar in his face i always thought that soldier 76's design was super cool and unique but like a vigilante that just rocked this jacket and his gun blue with like small red details that matches him really well now can overwatch to top that nice yeah that 76 is really cool in the back still it's still there the jacket's a little open now but one of my favorite parts is just his beard i do really enjoy the beard but do i prefer the beard over the mask god i really like the mask like this outfit is actually pretty sick and it would almost be better with the mask you know what i mean oh it's such a hard choice his weapon does look a lot better it looks way more like an assault rifle and that's like a toy it's really hard to choose this one like he looks like a daddy either way though you know what i mean huh? between soldier 76 and overwatch 2 and soldier 76 and overwatch 1 i'm gonna be going with overwatch 1. i'm gonna the mask is definitely the coolest part man the mask is the coolest part. Okay, everybody, now we're on Sombra. I'm gonna level with you guys. I never really liked Sombra's Overwatch 1 design that much. I always thought it was a little over the top. It's like, she's like wearing too many outfits underneath here. Like, why do you got like 16 spikes coming out of your body? Her gun is sick as heck though. I always thought her gun looked really, really cool. Overwatch 2 though, on the other hand, her hair looks a lot more cool, even though it has like these like USB drives coming out of her hair, which is kind of like weird, but you know. I, I like seeing her shoulders. She's got nice, she's got nice skin, you know? Looks really good. Less spiky things coming out of her body, so it looks like a more practical outfit. Um, you get a little bit of that toe action, which I know some of y'all really, really like. Oh, yeah, that got gun looks freaking sick. Holy crap, with like the little laser things coming out of it. Between Overwatch 1 Sombra and Overwatch 2 Sombra, I think Overwatch 2 Sombra is a big upgrade, so I'm gonna go with Overwatch 2 Sombra, honestly. I mean, we all know what the correct answer is, though. Black Cat Sombra is the correct answer. This should have been her default skin. 
100%. Okay, Symmetra. Symmetra from Overwatch 1. Symmetra is also one of those characters that I never loved her design. I, I always thought her cat ear looking things were kind of goofy looking. The blue is really nice. She looks great. Like, obviously, like, she is Symmetra. Symmetra's, you know, Symmetra's bad, right? And her gun is just, like, really bulky and blocky looking. Yeah, I, I always liked the way that her design was for the gun and stuff, but let's see how Overwatch 2 does. Holy crap, this is an upgrade. This is already a dub. I'm sorry, everybody. This is just way cooler. See, like, her cat ear things are no longer cat ears. They look more like a like a crown. Um, Her whole outfit has more of this, like, Saudi look, so it just, it just matches her, like, culture a lot better, which looks even cooler, and her hand looks even cooler. Everything about this is just an absolute dub. Yeah, her gun is just better, the gold. It is easily easily the overwatch 2 symmetra torb is just like my boy i love this guy we love torb everybody loves torb right all my homies love torb his original design super cool got that big old claw looking thing he's got a bright red color all over him magma coming out of his body got a motor on his back two uh, braided beards his gun super simple it just shoots out molten lava now let's check out torb 2 torb and overwatch 2 he loses his uh welding mask which i think is a big part of his design he definitely looks a lot more buff like he this guy's just the veins are popping. He's been working out since Overwatch 1. And his backpack just still looks the same. It's still like at the motor going out of it. Looks less like an engine though. I don't know why they decided to change. Like see how before this looks, that looks like an engine, right? Uh, his gun looks basically the same at this point. This whole outfit with a welding mask would be perfection. Hmm. Man, it's a hard choice. If I had to choose between Overwatch 2's Torbjorn and Overwatch 1 Torbjorn, I just think Overwatch 1 Torbjorn captures the essence of Torbjorn, like what he is, a designer, a welder, all the things a lot better. So I'm gonna have to give it to Overwatch 1 Torbjorn. If we had a true choice here, this would be the default Torbjorn skin. The poster child of Overwatch, we have none other than Tracer. Oh Tracer, you know, she's got the glutes in the back. She's wearing them Crocs. I love her goggles. Her arms always like, bothered me yeah i never really liked the way, why her, what her arms did but I don't, I don't think they fixed that in the next one her hair looks great yeah you can't you can't really go wrong with this gun now overwatch 2 tracer oh you know she God. got a cake upgrade we, we respect the cake upgrade you know um her jacket is is a little bit of a downgrade it loses that pilot vibe that i think was really cool about her her goggles have a little bit of, of a downgrade too i, I like i like how they like look like they were on her face like like you know like a like somebody that was actually a pilot would would do right they did fix her arms like the the arm issue that i had earlier they're, they're fixed. She lost the Crocs in exchange for some Adidas. I think I prefer these like running shoes more than the Crocs. I feel like you would never run in Crocs like that. You know what I mean? Her guns look about the same. A little bit of an orange detail there now. If I had to choose between Overwatch 2's Tracer and Overwatch 1's Tracer, I'm definitely going to have to lean towards Overwatch 1 Tracer. What? Now it's on to Widowmaker. She's the only person that I didn't equip her default skin because I was, I was I was having her rock the freaking swimsuit one because, I you know, I have a problem. So Widowmaker's original design shows her cleavage off she's like very sexualized the uh, designers uh, knew they gave her freaking cheeks they knew what they're doing with this design man um super blue super purple a cool widow looking thing on there and her gun is really cool it matches everything just a nice like light blue purplish hue with the red details throughout now let's look at overwatch 2 interesting okay they definitely gave her more cake and if not it's it definitely looks that way they gave her like a braid on her on her head i do like that she's covered up a little bit more it feels a little bit less sexualized but somehow she looks really she she almost looks better and yeah, her outfit just looks freaking sick like a, she actually seems like an assassin now with this with this outfit wow the purple is very nice yeah that purple is a very nice purple if i had to choose between overwatch one's widowmaker design which is you know a, a fan favorite uh and overwatch 2's design i'd probably go with overwatch 2's design i think it's better i think it i think it tones down the sexualization of, of widowmaker while still keeping her looking phenomenal it's intermission time My Anna from Overwatch 1 is just, it's Anna from Overwatch 1, dude. She's got the hood. She's got the, like, the scarves in there that are blue. We got this, like, weathered coat that's, like, you can tell she's been living in, like, a desert as, like, a nomad, kind of keeping it low-key. Anna is such a freaking sick design for a character. I've always loved her design. And, of course, her sniper that's, that heals. Yeah, just the nice blues and yellows and whites just matches. It just matches Anna very well. Now we got Anna from Overwatch 2. She's wearing this scarf thing over her hoodie, which doesn't make any sense. 
Her, her coat looks a lot more refined. It's got this nice eagle wing thing in the back. The other one did not have that. No, it did not. Oh yeah, this gun is, an, is a huge upgrade. Nice little eagle on the bottom. Yeah, between the original and her Overwatch 2 design. Oof, it's a hard one, but I think I'm gonna have to give it to Overwatch 2. Oh, Batiste, Batiste, Batiste. His Overwatch 1 design always seemed very bottom heavy. Like his legs were way too big. Uh, I never liked his orange looking scarf thing. It always looked like, like it seemed like an afterthought for the outfit. The blues are very nice though. The blue and the orange is, is very contrasty. There's a lot going on in his outfit in general. Uh, I do like the tattoo though. The tattoo is really cool. The gun's nice. The gun matches very well. The blue and the black and the, and the yellow. Now let's check out Overwatch 2. I like his hair. I think his hair looks a little bit cooler. We lose a lot of the orange that was previously there in the in Batiste. We get a little bit of small details of orange instead of it being such a blasted thing. Um, yeah, it has more of like a medic vibe, especially with that medic symbol there. Yeah, his boots look a little bit cooler because they have a little more color pop to them and a little bit more technology throughout them. He just looks a lot more strong and stoic. The, the blue details with the white just makes it pop very well. Uh, I'm gonna have to give it to him. I think I think that if I had to choose, I think between the Overwatch 1 Batiste design, which uh, it's it's okay, kind of mid, Overwatch 2 is an overall upgrade. I think that uh, Overwatch 2 wins this round. Brigitte! Brigitte! Simple. She's like a mini Reinhardt. She's got the armor like Reinhardt. She's got the, the hammer swinging thing like nice. Reinhardt. She's got the boots. She's got this cool little drapery thing. I always liked her hair with, with her little like hair things that strand down on her face. I don't know what those are called, but they look nice. Yeah, the silvers and the yellows look really good. They really pop. Shield is a nice silver and yellow. Very simple. And of course, her freaking chain swingy thing. Now Overwatch 2. She still has like the hair thing, which is really cool. The yellow is a little more of like a of, of a dress, like a like a garb that goes underneath her armor, which is really nice. Yeah, the yellow really pops in this one. I, I kind of wish they didn't get rid of her little headband thing that was in the Overwatch 1 design because now her hair looks a little emptier. Ooh, her shield looks freaking sick. Yeah, the previous shield looked like that. The new shield looks like this. Interesting. Actually, I, I it, it looks sick, but then and the more I looked at it, the, the more I kind of like don't know what, what this is supposed to be. Like a mob cat. And the weapon looks about the same. It looks it looks a little bit shinier. Oh, this is a hard one. This is a hard one, guys. That I had to choose between Overwatch 1's Brigitte and Overwatch 2's Brigitte. I would have to go with Overwatch 2. Overwatch 2, definitely by like a small margin. Lucy O. Got the nice skates. Uh, got the, still looks like super muscular. Got the cool tattoos. Got these tufts of hair just sticking out. And got the backpack on. Got the Beats by Dre on. Yeah, his gun design is also really cool. Got the Lucio symbol on it. It's a good design. Now let's see how Overwatch 2 had to offer. Okay. Kind of gave him these weird looking like everything everywhere all at once hand looking hair things, but they're super green. Super prominent. The rest of his outfit is a lot cooler. Like he looks like an actual soldier before. Before he looked like a DJ. This is a DJ that happened to have like these robot legs and this is a soldier. But is that better? Like I don't think that's better because I think Lucio is more is like he's a DJ man. He's not a fighter. Like he's a freedom fighter, but he's not a soldier man his hair color changes with the songs that is kind of sick actually hold up that's low-key that low-key might change how i feel about this damn i really like that backpack man that has like the frog in the back and the skates do look sick um let's look at his gun a little bit of a downgrade weirdly spiky on the edges interesting between overwatch 2's design which is it's not bad it's just a very out there i think i'm gonna have to choose overwatch 1 i think overwatch 1 just captures his vibe a lot more mercy yeah i'm not even gonna debate i'm not even gonna have a time to talk to you about it they, they cut her hair shorter which is a downgrade overwatch one nice cute hair cute like up there the wings look super cool her whole outfit's freaking amazing she looks like a medic she's got the cake she's got everything you ever wanted she's just got the whites the yellows the golds her pistol is super simple her staff is super simple everything about it works now she's got the karen cut though in overwatch 2 they gave her the karen cut everything else is about the same i guess her wings are a little bit cooler her wings are a little bit more like technological and has like the gray sticking out and whatnot and she does look more like a combat medic and i guess she has more cake in this now with the way that they designed her but um oh this is a toss-up they're so they're both it's a pretty good design i just really don't like the hair it's hard choices hard choices pistols is kind of cool though i do like the golden the golden vibe wow yeah even the staff's like a slight upgrade but her hair man oh man i'm sorry guys like just for the karen hair alone like i like the overwatch 2 redesign if they just gave her her original hair and not this karen hair look I do think that it would be better, but the Overwatch 1 design is just so good. It's mercy, man. Moira time. Moira's original design is so... I always... 
thought it was really weird. Kind of stupid looking. Look at this weird looking design. This long stupid coat doesn't make any sense. I always thought this coat looked so dumb. She looks so dumb. God, Mora's design sucks. Ah! Overwatch 2 fixes every issue I have with Mora. This actually looks like a coat that you can actually wear. One of her hand is just like grossly showing like the, like it just captures Mora's evilness. Her hand looks so scary, dude. Oh my God. It looks like her hand is dying. I just think this is a net positive upgrade. Uh, between Overwatch 1 Mora, which, you know, I didn't really love that much. And Overwatch 2 Mora, even look at, even her skin has like more complexion before she was just like super white. Like, super bright. Yeah, I think Overwatch 2 Mora takes the cake here. The final character, Zenyatta. Zenyatta is one of my favorite characters in this game. He's my he's my support main. Everyone loves Zenyatta. He's a robot monk. They just really struck gold with this design. They know it. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be very hard to upgrade someone like Zenyatta. You get him wearing these raggedy pants in this in this monk outfit while still keeping his upper body very clearly robot. Also, I got to get rid of the gold gun. So, yeah, Zenyatta just looks so cool. His orbs look amazing. Is it's like it's so orbs are also like act like a necklace, which is like such a such a phenomenal design. They, they they I'm not I'm not kidding. They genuinely struck gold with this design. It's incredible. Let's look at his balls. Huh? Look at those balls, man. Really nice. The gold is nice. The black in between. Now Zenyatta and Overwatch 2. He's finally upgraded his pants. His pants do look a little more formal. And he definitely has more of a monk attire with his with his coat and whatnot. It just definitely looks like this makes sense within the lore. His brother passed away and he was the leader of the Omnix, and now Zenyatta would be the than the spiritual leader now. Um, so now he has more of like a leadership role. Now he has shoes on too, which is interesting. And let's look at his balls real quick. Interesting choice. They got rid of it being all gold and, and opted for a, a bit of a white finish, but it still has a lot of those engravings and details that I do enjoy with the nice light blue. The final character between Overwatch 1 Zenyatta, which like I said, they struck gold with this design. It's going to be hard to upgrade. So they didn't go too aggressive with the upgrade. They just wanted to give him a little bit of clothes, give him a little bit more of a regal look, give him a little bit more of a spiritual leader look. I'm going to have to say that I think I'm going to have to go with Overwatch 2 Zenyatta. I think it does give him this very pious and spiritual look like you would go to him for guidance and stuff. And I like that. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for vibing, which by the way, if this becomes a video, play the outro now.